Now based on these properties which I shared with you in my previous video, I would like to discuss few questions, how to apply these properties. The question is evaluate minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 sin square x dx. Clearly it is coming in the category of the property from minus a to a. Now I need to check this property minus a to a fx dx having two separate answers. One twice of 0 to a fx dx if fx is the even function and 0 if it had the odd function. We have clearly sin square x is the even function. So, its first part of the property will be applied. In order to apply this part, what we need to do? We will write this as minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 sin square x dx is equals to integration of 0 to pi by 4 sin square x dx. Why? As I discussed, sin square x is the even function and it is the property and we need to write here twice. Now, to move, we will write it as twice of integration of 0 to pi by 4 and in place of sin square x, 1 minus cos of 2x upon 2 dx. This 2 and this 2, both are cancelled. We left with 0 to pi by 4, 1 dx, that is x, minus cos what? 2x. Its derivative is sin 2x upon 2. And as it is integrated, so I can write its what values that is 0 to pi by 4. If I put the value of x in first go, it is pi by 4 minus sin 90, it is what? 1. Because pi by 4 when we put here, it will become pi by 4 into 2. So, this will be 1 by 2 minus what? 0. So, 0, 0, this is 0. So, ultimately we can say the answer is pi by 4 minus half. So, we have to be very attentive whenever we are solving the problem of any of belonging to the based on property, we should be caring about which property is to be used and how to apply what are the conditions and then we will get the final answer of the question. Now, I want to share with you the problems which are based on our properties of the definite integral. Here we want to discuss with you that to evaluate minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 sin square x dx. Immediately in my mind a concept is coming that is we can use the property minus a to a fx dx. Why? Because it is minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4. Minus a to a fx dx having two results, one is 0 if function is odd, another is twice of 0 to a fx dx if function is even. Sin square x clearly even function, so we can say minus pi by 4 sin square x dx is equal to twice 0 to pi by 4 sin square x dx. Now in this part sin square x dx 0 to pi by 4 in place of sin square x we can write 1 minus cos 2x upon 2 this 2 and this 2 get cancelled. Derivative of 1 is x derivative of cos 2x is sin 2x upon 2 and the limits are 0 to pi by 4. If we put the limits we will get the answer pi by 4 minus half. 